Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In order to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie, Kyrie, eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie, eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe, Christe, eleison. Christe, Christe, eleison. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Kyrie, Kyrie, eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie, eleison. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. King Ahab summoned all the Israelites and assembled the prophets of Baal at Mount Carmel. Elijah then came near to all the people and said, How long will you go limping with two different opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. The people did not answer him a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I, even I only, am left a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets number 450. Let two bulls be given to us. Let them choose one bull for themselves, cut it into pieces, and lay it on the wood, but put no fire to it. I will prepare the other bull and lay it on the wood but put no fire to it. Then you call on the name of your God, and I will call on the name of the Lord. The God who answers by fire is indeed God. All the people answered, well spoken. Then Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, choose for yourselves one bull and prepare it first, for you are many. Then call on the name of your God, but put no fire to it. So they took the bull that was given to them, prepared it, and called on the name of Baal from morning until noon, crying, O Baal, answer us. But there was no voice and no answer. They limped around the altar that they had made. At noon, Elijah mocked them, saying, Cry aloud, surely he is a god. Either he is meditating, or he, he has wandered away, or he is on a journey, or perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. Then they cried aloud, and as was their custom, they cut themselves with swords and lances until the blood gushed out over them. As midday passed, they raved on until the time of the offering of the oblation, but there was no voice, no answer. And no response. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come closer to me. And all the people came closer to him. First, he repaired the altar of the Lord that had been thrown down. Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the word of the Lord came, saying, 
Israel should be your name. With the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. Then he made a trench around the altar, large enough to contain two measures of seed. Next, he put the wood, the wood in order, cut the bull in pieces, and laid it on the wood. He said, Fill four jars with water and pour it on the burnt offering and on the wood. Then he said, Do it a second time. And they did a second time. Again he said, Do it a third time. And they did it a third time. So that the water ran all around the altar and filled the trench also with water. At the time of the offering of, of the oblation, the prophet Elijah came near and said, O Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, that I am your servant, and that I have done all these things at your bidding. Answer me, O Lord, answer me, so that these people may know that you, O Lord, are God and that you have turned their hearts back. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering, the wood, the stones, and the dust, and, e and even licked up the water that was in the trench. When all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, The Lord indeed is God. The Lord indeed is God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Protect me, O oh God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Those who choose another God multiply their sorrows. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names upon my lips. Keep me safe, O oh God. You are my hope. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. I keep the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Keep me safe, O oh God. You are my hope. You show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Keep me safe, O oh God. You are my hope. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God, and lead me in your truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, Do not think I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. 
I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we have to follow all the Lord's commandments. If we follow all the Lord's commandments, we're not being legalistic, we're being faithful. Now, at the time of Elijah, the people of Israel were straddling two different religions, you could say. Elijah says to them, he first of all, he calls everyone to Mount Carmel, including the 450 prophets of Baal, and he, he, he takes them on. That's, uh, I won't get into that today. But he says to the people of Israel who gathered for the show, he said to them, listen, how long will you straddle the issue? If the Lord is God, follow him. If Baal, then follow him. And we could say the same thing today. So many Catholics, they're what we call um, cafeteria Catholics. They like to pick and choose. Like when you go to a cafeteria. You, you, you take whatever looks good to you and you leave the other stuff behind. And we can't do that with Catholicism. You can do that as a, at a buffet. Of course you can. I mean, if you tried to eat every single thing at a buffet, that'd probably be gluttony anyways. But the point is, as Catholics, if we love the Lord, we need to jump in. We need to, we need to embrace the whole of the gospel. Because that's the only way it works anyways. If we want to experience the joy of the kingdom, if we want to experience the fire from heaven in our hearts, we have to give our hearts completely to God. We have to, we have to allow the Lord to, 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 to set us on fire by a complete yes to Him. One of my favorite saints is St. Joseph Cupertino. He was known for levitating. He would levitate over and over again. And I think his life was a sign that the Lord wants us to fly. He wants us to soar like an eagle. We hear this a number of times in Scripture. And again, we're never going to leave the ground. We're never going to fly unless we just totally surrender to God by embracing all of His commandments. Because listen, if we don't, the Lord isn't Lord. If we decide what we want to do and we just choose the things we like uh, from the gospel or from Catholicism, then we're Lord. Jesus isn't Lord. Jesus is only Lord if we follow him completely, wholeheartedly. And again, it's kind of like, you know, when you go swimming. If you want the full thrill of a good swim, if you want the full joy of, of, of getting in the water, you got to jump in. you got to jump in. you got to dive deep underwater and just let the, let the ocean embrace you. The people who just go around, you know, uh, tickling their, their feet in the, in the shallow water, that's not the full experience. And so again, we need to, to, to not straddle the issue. We need to, to give ourselves whole, wholeheartedly to the Lord in this short life. Life is short. Don't delay. Surrender your life completely to the Lord. Jump in and allow Him to lift you up so that you may soar like an eagle. God promises happiness to those who follow His law who seek him with all their hearts, let us pray to him now in that common bond of fidelity. That the Holy Father and the bishops, through their teaching and way of life, may encourage the flock to follow Christ's way of love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That renewed effort may be intensified so that peace and stability may be attained in the family of nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that married couples may experience the warmth of God's love in their relationship, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the elderly may be encouraged by the words of comfort and assurances of those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may behold the things that no eye have seen and no ear has heard, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of today's Mass, for the repose of the soul of Michelle Barrett, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and everlasting Father, enlighten our, 
lives with your law and love and keep us on the right road which leads to your kingdom. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. And he will raise you up on eagles' wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his hand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hand for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Terence, and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. You need not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Under his wings your refuge is faithfulness, your shield, and he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you of his hand. You who dwell in the shelter of the Lord, who abide in his shadow for life, say to the Lord, my refuge, my rock in whom I trust, he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you, hold you in the palm of his hand. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. The blessing of Almighty God descend upon you and fill you with his fire from heaven. May he raise you up so that you may soar like the eagle. May he fill you with his heavenly joy and heavenly light. May he guide you in his paths and give you peace, the peace that only he can give. And may the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and remain with you forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, Michael, the the archangel, defend defend us in battle. Be our safeguard safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Love divine, all loves excelling, joy of heaven to earth come down. Fix in us your humble dwelling, all your faithful mercies crown. Jesus, source of all compassion, love unbounded, love all pure, visit us with your salvation, let your love in us end.